Good evening. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm back. Voice is still kind of wanky, but that's not why I've been gone for the past um, two weeks. Um, I've been, I have been doing self care, but I have been manifesting things in 3D. Um, for those of you who have been coming to my channel for a while, I, I've said it before. I'm, I'm manifesting 3D. But I like coming on here to do readings to bless other people. Um, and also, I am going to begin doing that. Um, I have reached, oh wow, this fell out and I'm going to keep it. The Fool, it's a new start, and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to balance out something. Um, this deck I'm using, oh, look at that. High Priestess is underneath here. I'm going to keep it. Uh, it's already starting. It's been some weird things happening to me for a while. And I've been just taking it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be afraid of it. Um, while I've been gone, I've still been getting viewers. I got new people on my channel. Look at this. Four wines. Four wines fell out. And the star. This um, book, this deck is called Crystal Unicorn Tarot. I've also ordered a lot of decks. New decks. So I have a lot of stuff to play with when I decide to do what I'm going to do. I'm not going to say when I'm going to do it, but I'm going to pop on here and go live. And if you are in the vicinity, come check your girl out. I will do a few readings. Oh, look at that. Man, can't make this stuff up. I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. I guess when you go online, you can um, go online for about an hour or so. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but anyway, let's get this reading going since it's already begun. So, there's a new star happening. And it's actually going to have a good start because the sun is shining. The, wa the waters or whatever that is look calm. It's, you know, nothing looks crazy. And there is some kind of crystal there. So, it's some type of abundant going on. Um, they're balancing out something whereas it wasn't balanced before. There's an inner knowing that this needed to take place with this relationship. What this relationship can be with yourself or with someone else. But there was a hope that this would come. There was a wish. And it has something to do with a relationship, lovers. Now, this is also a decision card. It has something to do about that. So now that that is out, we're going to, um, the next new deck I'm going to use is the Tarot of Dreams. I don't look at the book, but that's what it looked like. Um, no, I didn't ask. A, this deck is crazy. They like, it, it likes to, it's bossy. It's a bossy deck. And so I have to work with it for those of you who don't know decks have energy just like we do and we can control the energy or it can control us um, I normally interview most of my decks I've interviewed them so I know the personality of my decks um, this is the first reading that I'm doing with these cards. So we'll see how they're going to behave. <laughs> like this deck is already trying to act up. Um, Spirit, what's going on with this new start? Um, Three of Cups is going to be some type of celebration. And with this celebration, I see people. There are masks there, but nobody's wearing them. Which is a good thing. And I only see two masks, which is a good thing. But this masculine-looking mask has um, 
shapes and stuff on them like aboriginal things we'll get into that another time because that looks like my ancestor deck um what about this celebration can i have something oh there's been some clarity somebody has gotten clarity this is the king of swords there's a cl some clarity about a relationship and the palace of coins is on the bottom but i'm gonna pull the card that's up page of coins so somebody's been studying something pages are students so somebody's learning something without spirit high priestess it's an inner knowing the high priestess is up here twice and she knows about something that was being withheld so somebody this is the second time no, that's the four wands so somebody was withholding something but whatever it is now they know that they're going to be giving a new emotional beginning and it's overflowing That's a lot of blessings coming out of there. Somebody was in their emotions, though. I'm not pulling that. Wow. And with the clarity that you've gotten, it would give you a new passionate and spiritual beginning. And because of that, you're going to have justice. Well, this sounds like the magician. Here's the Ace of Coins. Wow. Okay. Somebody is, has been doing the work. And intuitively, you already know this. Now, I'm going to pull... I'm going to... What is the king... Of um, sorts. Wow. You all, I can't make this. You all that, if you don't know, I talk about the tree of life on my channel all the time. This is why I bought this deck. This deck talks about it as well. Um, or they had this deck, this um, card here. The king of swords has gained some knowledge about the tree of life. That means I'm going to have to start that up again. And because he's been doing that, he's had to defend himself. And he don't look like he, you know, he pressed. He like, if you want some, you can get some. Anything else about the King of Swords? He ended a burden. Whatever it is he learned, mentally, he, he, um, he ended a burden. I'm not taking these because I can't see them. What is he learning? What did he learn? Because here's the page. Told you he's learning something. Whatever he learned. He learned about childhood heartbreak. There's some heartbreak here. Heartbreak. And he's rested to deal with it. Four swords on the bottom. Anything else about the page of swords? There's some grounding going on because whatever whatever the heartbreak was, it was with a, a um, queen of is this the queen, queen of coins? I want to say pentacles, but this deck says coins. This person has been playing some. He's been he or she. Let me get it right. They have been dealing with heartbreak with a queen of pentacles for a while. And can't make this stuff up. This person, this queen of pentacles has been keeping them stuck in some kind of way. And they know this intuitively because here's the high priestess. What does the high priestess have to say about this? There's a transformation going on with this new knowledge. And it's going to allow you to learn something new. 
like I said, pages are students. They take action. So there is an action being taken. Can't make this shit up. To turn it to the um, magician. They're, they're learning. They're manifesting. And they're going to be um, successful. And they're going to get into whatever union they're looking for. A lot of times people say um, union with um, their counterpart. But you need to know who you are. This person's learning some things. And because they're learning some things, you see the door looks like it's opening up now. Because it's opening up, that's going to allow them to get into this um, magician energy. Because this door, you know, I try not to get too spirit, you know, this, that behind that door is the Garden of Eden and all the other good stuff. Um, and they're having a tower moment because they're understanding this. This tower moment is not a bad one. And when they have this tower moment, they're going to understand why they've been withholding. This is four pentacles. When they go through that door, I just saw 1111. When they go through this door, this door, they will understand why they were withholding things from people. Why were they withholding? What's going on with this four of coins? Making rash decisions. This is the night of um, wands. Moving too fast or being made to move too fast. Cause the tower moment. Cause them to withhold. Cause them to have to rest. And once they rest, they're going to get into this, this um, ace, ace of cups. They're going to have new emotional beginning. Look at that. And that new emotional beginning... Is going to allow them to move to a better, clearer, more healthier environments. And then they will be able to work with source. Normally when you see the three of coins, it's three people or something like that. But this person is by themselves and they are working it out with source. This is magician energy. And they, whatever they're doing, they're going to make it rain. Because look at that, all that coin coming down and it's a lot of hidden emotions dealing with this because you're going to also be getting you, you know the ace of wands is not only a sexual card it's a spiritual card you're going to be getting a lot of spiritual enlightenment and it's going to allow you to balance out your emotions you're going to be able to like i said six of cups this is um childhood I said it was inner child, childhood stuff. You're going to learn about that. Um, you're going to begin to work on yourself and gain whatever it is you're trying to gain on the earthly plane that's been taking a while. I'm going to take these because they fail. You're going to understand about this devil energy you've been dealing with. Even though you know you got people watching you. Because you're turning into the Nine of Cups. You're turning into a successful, emotional person. And because you're doing that, you're going to get your justice. You know, I have to tell people, sometimes the best justice is to let others see you succeed. Look at this. This justice is going to show you where you were all in your head or where other people were making you go all in your head. 14, 14 on the thing. A lot of emotional, hidden emotions were going on with that. And this is going to allow you to go to go towards your passions. The palace of passions. You know, passions are actions and it's spiritual enlightenment. So it's gonna, this is a good place to be. You're also going to be um clear there's going to be clarity about what you've learned and she has that sword like she'll cut somebody she will now it could be you getting the clarity clarity about this person i'm gonna say this because 
you getting a new emotional, you getting a new financial blessing. You getting a blessing. And that's a big coin. That's a big one. All about being the empress. That's on the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up. You know, you, you're moving into your empress energy. Um, Spirit, can I have a message? For the ace of coin. It's the truth. I think all four aces are out here. One, two. Yep. This is, you're, you're turning into ma the magician. Somebody's turning into the magician. Somebody has, is manifesting something. They are getting clear. The palace of uh, source is where you gain clarity. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And you don't have to deal with mind games and foolishness and, you know, whatever. You're going to, this is going to take a lot of strength for you to deal with this. Because you got a lot of people that have been competing or trying to harass, interfere. It's all kind of stuff going on. And they're trying to keep you in this nine of swords, mental anguish energy. But you don't have to do that. You're the emperor now. Look at that. And because you are, you're doing that, you're going into your palace of cups. Emotional satisfaction. Emotional fulfillment. And this is going to allow you to be able to look at what you have created. You'll be able to look at your, what, you, what you have. Because you're going toward the palace of coin. Yeah, somebody manifesting a lot. Um, intuitively, you know this. Intuitively, intuitively, you know this. And... There's going to be an offer coming towards you. Some, and he's making an offer on a seahorse. Look at that. Knight of Cups. He's coming forward to make an offer. Some kind of offer. It's not a king, but it's not a page. And there's going to be a message along also. Oh, there's the king. You're going to get a message from the king of King, I want to say King of Coin, King of Pentacles, the King of Coins. This is a new deck for me, so I got to make sure I get get these names right. So you're getting a message. I'm gonna take these last. This whole it was a whole bunch that fell out. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them. The King of Pentacles is saying they love you. They know who you are. You're the Queen of Wands. They know that they were depressed about something. Something was going on. But they want Ten of Cups with you. And they know that it's taking a while for them to come forward and make this offer to you. But they were, they felt like they had to defend themselves from something. Anything else. Empress. They're coming toward the Empress to say this to you. I'm going to leave it, leave it like that. Oh, wow. I'm going to leave it. And by doing so, they're going to close out a cycle. Somebody has closed out a cycle. Somebody has closed out a cycle. And because they've closed out that cycle, you're going to have a brand new beginning. A brand new fool's journey. All right. That was pretty cool for me to have this new deck. I know it's been two weeks. Um... This is going to be a collective reading. I may try to squeeze another reading in. I think I have a little enough time to do one more reading with another new deck. But I want to thank you all for stopping by. Um, I want to thank the new subscribers who have been coming, even though I haven't been on here for the past few weeks. Um, sometime soon, I'm just going to pop on here and go live. I don't know when. It's going to be soon. And if you're here, I'll give you a free, you know, we'll, I'll put two or three cards for you. Uh, we can have some fun. That's going to be something I'm going to be doing regularly. But I won't tell you the date. I'm just going to pop on and do it. I want to thank you again for stopping by. You all take care. Peace.